Why are offline mobile games so popular? Why do so many people want to play games that are offline when it's on your phone and you have internet connection or Wi-Fi? Well, here's the answer. Sometimes you just don't. Sometimes the Wi-Fi dies. Sometimes you take a plane ride and you don't want to pay for the Wi-Fi package. That's a time when games like this are solid. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys 10 of the best offline mobile games. Some of them are premium, some of them are free, all of them are solid, all of them are good, and there's a great variety of games here, so you're definitely gonna find one that fits what you're looking for. The first game I wanna share with you guys today is called Hack, or Hawk, call it what you will. Thing's got 500,000 downloads and 4.5 stars, and this is a hack and slash style platformer game that is straight up epic, tons of action, and uh, a lot of really nice atmospheric graphics as well. Now, not atmospheric like pretty and calming, but atmospheric like really good looking graphics that are gonna give you that pump that you need. Pump? Pump, he said? Pump for a mobile game? What do I need pump for? Well, you're gonna want pump to get through this one. You have many different stages with little types of obstacles for you to get through, and when you do get to your opponents, you will slice them up with your weapons and enjoy it in really great fashion. Game's a lot of fun, very rewarding, very satisfying. Combat Master Mobile FPS. We're looking at a shooter game that is offline. That's not a common thing. This one has 5 million downloads and 4.1 stars. And basically you're looking at a tactical shooter. For those of you that are into Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG Mobile, etc., this is a great option of something that's really solid that you could play offline as well. I could even go as far as saying that this is worthy to play alongside of those games. The upgrades that you can do to your weapons are awesome, the graphics look really good, and the combat is fast and furious. Really a fun action-packed game here with that extra spice of being able to be played while you don't have any connection. Little Nightmares. It's the first premium game that I'm featuring here on the list. It has 50,000 downloads, 4.1 stars, and what we're looking at is a survival horror action adventure game that is extremely atmospheric inside of this game you're going to be encountering many different puzzles that you need to figure out to proceed to the next levels of the game but in addition to the puzzles you will be running into some really creepy monsters along the way that really give it its horror genre this one's available both on pc console and on mobile and basically what we're looking at is a dark whimsical tale that'll confront you with your childhood fears Help Six, which is the guy in the yellow jacket right there, escape the Maw, a vast, mysterious vessel inhabited by corrupted souls looking for their next meal. As you progress on your journey, explore the most disturbing dollhouse offering a prison to escape from and playground full of secrets to discover. So maybe to you, Little Nightmares is cool, but possibly a little bit too creepy for you. Well, we have another option that's similar with a little bit less of the creep, and I'm talking about Limbo. A $3.99 purchase on mobile with 1 million downloads and 4.5 stars. Here, we do have some horror elements inside of the game, but not as severe as in the previous title. It's a platformer style game where, of course, there are gonna be puzzles for you to figure out along the way to progress through the game. We're looking at a single player, offline, atmospheric game. The silhouettes inside of this game make it different than many others that we've seen, and it really is just a really nice experience as you play on through. There's something just beautiful about the simplicity of this game. Super popular, it's been around for a while, and it's worth playing. Take a guess, what are we drinking inside of here today? What is the drink of choice? In the comments below. But let's move along to a different type of game featuring Descenders uh, with 10,000 downloads and three stars, it's sitting right now, currently, with a $3 price tag. This used to be on PC and console, but now it's over here on mobile as well. And essentially, you're going to be doing some stunts as you ride your bike downhill, hence the name Descenders. Really cool, fast-paced game. It's a really uh, enjoyable, casual experience, but it does offer a lot of that excitement as well, as you could expect from any type of a game where you're going to be stunt riding any type of bikes or vehicles. Really a fun game that looks really nice and with the offline playability allows you to get into some action while you don't have the internet connection. I like this game. It's definitely not the genre of my choice, but it is a good thing that you can casually dive into and enjoy 
when you're in the mood. But let's dive into a roguelike platformer. Sitting at $6.99 on the price tag, we have Scourge Bringer. It's got 100,000 downloads, 4.7 stars, and as you can tell right here, it's more of a pixelated experience like days of old. With that being said, very challenging levels that you're gonna have to go through right here. Big bosses that you're gonna need to figure out and try and defeat along the way so you could progress throughout the game and levels that are just not easy. It's a challenging game that brings us back to days of old when gaming wasn't so handheld. It's a really fun game. The graphics are really nice in the style that it has here, the pixelated style. The big bosses that you encounter here really are what make the game the most rewarding. It's fun, enjoyable, I think you'll like it if you're willing to pay seven bucks for this one. Next, we have a smaller title called Ugly. With a $5 price tag and only 500 downloads, this one sits with 3.8 stars. And what we're looking at here is a dark fairy tale turned mobile puzzle platform. You're gonna navigate a world that's just been struck by tragedy, armed with an innovative mirror mechanic that allows you to face puzzles and yourself like you really haven't seen before in many other games. If you're into puzzle platformer style games that have some really sweet looking graphics, even though the game is called Ugly, of course, this could be a good option for you. Again, personally, not the puzzle kind of gamer here myself, but I know that many of you are. And there are some really great titles in this genre with the offline capabilities, this being one of them. The mirror mechanic here and the really nice graphics are really what make this one stand out to me. Death's Door is a top-down style action game. I really like the look of this one and I like the top-down mechanic. It sits with 100,000 downloads, 3.5 stars, and as the rest of them on today's list, offers us a nice offline capability. This one's also available for Netflix members as well. The stages here are really cool. The characters have their own nice little look to them as well that's definitely distinct to the brand. And you're gonna be able to go through, complete missions, and do other types of stations and things like that that you'll do in other games like action RPGs, etc. Definitely a slower element to this than your typical action RPG, but a really nice mixture of puzzles to solve and battles to engage in. And if you're looking for more of a hack and slash style experience, you could look into Grim Valor that has a million downloads and 4.7 stars. Now the game is not brand new, it's been around for a while, but it's been a leader in the offline hack and slash platformer style genre for quite some time. There's gonna be many big bosses and guardians that you encroach on throughout this game that you're gonna need to take down. And it's typical to the genre, hack and slash, you're gonna go button mash your way through and take down big bosses that are kind of brutal, but also really rewarding to defeat. A really solid game for an action RPG style offline game. After Place, what is this game and why is it on the list? Well, it sits with a thousand downloads, has five stars and costs $7. This is a special one and we saved it for last. It's an adventurous indie game that's just here for us on mobile. It's a huge open world full of hidden secrets, treasures, and creatures. You'll run around in the woods, fight monsters, and talk to shady, weird characters. And be warned though, you never know what the forest could have in store for you. A lot of really cool creatures in there. Not all the trails are paved. Labyrinths and dungeons are tucked away in the most concealed nooks. There are no waypoints in After Place. You'll have to forge your own path. So this is another style game that is really an old school style experience that's not as forgiving. Also, it has that old school classic graphics package if that's something that you're into. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on tomorrow's top 10 list.